be the spirit bomber is such an aircraft in the world that no missile can destroy even if it wants to. It may look as big as a football field, but on enemy radar, it appears only as small as a fly. No matter how complex the radar network is, dodging it is child's play for the B to Spirit Bomber. Prepared at the cost of dollar billion, it is the most expensive aircraft ever made in the world. Compared to other jets, it's not only silent, but it can easily fold both heat-seeking and infrared-guided missiles. It's an aircraft that, if it wants, can change the world map. But the question is, why can't a 52-meter-wide aircraft be detected on radar? What science is in it that America has been hiding for the last 37 years? Welcome once again to Discover TV Videos, viewers. Behind the making of this b to bomber is an incident that brought shame to America's head across the world. On May 1, 1960, from Peshawar Air Base in Pakistan, America's Lockheed U-2 aircraft took off. It was going on a CIA secret mission to spy on the Soviet Union. This was the Cold War era when both America and the Soviet Union were trying to outdo each other through technology. America was proud that its Utah Lockheed spy plane could fly at 80,000 feet and nothing could harm it at that altitude. The U.S. believed that no missile from the USS could reach such a height, but as soon as this aircraft entered Soviet territory, it was immediately detected by radar. First, they sent many fighter jets and launched several missiles, but truly, hitting it at such a height was not within their power. But then the Soviet military locked its S-75 Vina missile onto the plane and fired. America also knew about this missile, but they thought the Soviet S-75 would also not reach such heights. But what happened next was beyond America's wildest thoughts. The S-75 hit the Utah Lockheed at 80,000 feet with extreme precision. The plane fell over a city named Yekaterinburg, and the pilot ejected himself. Initially, America said this was a NASA weather research plane, but when the Soviet Union presented the captured pilot and Utah surveillance equipment to the world, America faced worldwide embarrassment. This incident taught both countries a tough lesson. After this, Russia, or the Soviet Union, began working on its air defense, and America on a technology that would become literally invisible to radar. At that time, America had B-50 to bombers, but after this incident, it became confirmed that before entering Russian territory, they would be shot down, which meant that, even if it wanted, America couldn't use its nuclear weapons against Russia. Then, by 1976, the USS are made surface-to-air missiles that could take down aircraft from as far as 100 kilometers, including the S-300. At that time, the USSR's air defense became so strong that an American Air Force general said sending a B-50 to bomber into Soviet Union airspace was like throwing a rock at a beehive. That's when America, in 1978, launched the Advanced Technology Bomber ATB program. The goal of this program was to build a bomber plane that could enter Soviet Union territory, drop bombs in front of their radars, and exit unnoticed. All these requirements were fulfilled by the B-2 bomber, whose first flight was in 1989, but it was shown to the world in 1997. The biggest feature of the B-2 is its ability to avoid radar. Every corner of this aircraft is designed so that when radar signals hit it, they don't bounce back to the radar, meaning the signal's direction changes. And for that reason, its design consists of only wings e no fuselage and no tail. The vertical tail fin in normal aircrafts is easily detected by radar. The massive radar network and air defense systems send signals in all directions in the sky to ensure not a single corner goes undetected. These signals usually reflect off the aircraft body and return to the radar, which then records its presence. Especially protecting the tail fin is nearly impossible because from the side, it acts like a mirror for radar. But the Beta Spirit bomber's body is designed so that no matter where the radar signal comes from, after collision, it doesn't reflect back in the same direction. For this reason, there is no tail. Its zigzag design deflects the signals in the completely opposite direction. The B-2 bomber's success is not just due to its design, but also due to a coating that absorbs 100% of radar signals. The U.S. made a secret coating whose details are still hidden from the world. And because of this coating, the B-2 bomber becomes 100% invisible to radar. Its radar cross-section is astonishingly just 0.001 square meter, meaning detecting it on radar is like detecting a fly in the sky. 
To compare, on radar, the B-52 bomber looks as big as a two-bedroom flat, the F-15 like a small room, the JF-17 like a single bed, and the Rafale like a large pillow. That means the B-2 bomber, even though ten times bigger than all of these, appears only as a fly on radar. In the world of aviation security, this technology is called stealth, and its foundation was laid with the B-2 bomber. The B-2 spirit bomber not only avoids enemy radar, but its low heat signature also fools infrared and heat-seeking missiles. Normally, air defense systems have infrared surveillance systems which detect the heat emitted from the back of jets and then lock the missile system onto that heat signature. But the B-2 bomber's engines are hidden inside its body. After combustion in the jet engine, the heat doesn't come out directly. Instead, it mixes with cool air first, which prevents the B-2 from leaving a heat signature. This makes the B-2 the aircraft with the lowest heat signature in the world. This means that if an F-16 jet can be detected from 100 kilometers on infrared surveillance, then the B-2 bomber will not be detected unless it comes within 10 kilometers range, but it never flies that low to be detected by infrared radar. The B-2 bomber astonishingly can fly at 15,000 meters, or as low as 500 feet. Flying at such heights not only helps avoid infrared radar, but due to thinner atmosphere, there's less drag on the aircraft, improving fuel efficiency, allowing it to travel even longer distances. On a full tank, the B-2 bomber can easily cover 11,000 kilometers. Now you might think its radar and infrared invisibility is its only special feature, but no, what truly makes the B-2A stealth bomber is its ECM, or electronic countermeasures. High-tech ECM systems inside the B-2 first detect the enemy radar frequency, then send fake signals on that same frequency so that the radar shows a false location of the B-2, or even 20 different locati, ONS. Even though it is only at one place, this system records the radar signal, modifies it, and sends it back. The radar thinks the signal is genuine, but in fact, it's fake. And the most amazing thing, this ECM sends false signals only to the radar that detected it, so the enemy thinks there's a noise or error in the radar. If all radars received wrong signals, the enemy might get suspicious. The B-2 bomber's body is mostly made of carbon graphite composite material. The aircraft was made in pieces and then assembled like a Swiss watchmaker puts together every gear with perfection. Now, let's talk about its payload. It can astonishingly carry 18,000 kilograms of explosives, about the load of 15 vehicles. It can hide 80 JDA MIS in its belly which are GPS-guided bombs. 16 B-83 nuclear bombs and 16 HEM-158 JASSM missiles, which are stealth cruise missiles. These bombs are fitted inside the B-2's internal bay, and the doors are closed to maintain stealth during flight. As for range, it can fly from America to Russia and back, and if refueled in mid-air, the B-2 bomber can reach any corner of the world. During the Afghanistan war, the B-2 bomber took off from Missouri Air Force Base in the USA flew 9,500 kilometers to Afghanistan, conducted bombings, and returned without landing. It needed only one mid-air refueling. During this entire mission, the B-2 bomber flew continuously for 45 hours and did not appear on any radar. Besides that, in 1999 during Operation Allied Force, it was used for bombings in Serbia. In 2003, during Operation Iraqi Freedom, and in 2011 during Operation Odyssey Dawn, the B-2 bombed Libya. The B-2 Spirit Bomber can fly in any weather and condition. Even if GPS satellites are destroyed, using its backup systems, it flies by navigating through stars. Its high-tech sonar cameras make the B-2 Bomber the world's greatest obstacle avoidance plane. It identifies terrain by itself and flies accordingly. Now, since it's a giant wing with no tail rudder or elevator, its stability isn't perfect for a pilot to fly without computer aid. It contains the world's most complex computer system which constantly adjusts its roll and pitch movement. The pilot just commands the computer to turn and then the computer turns the aircraft as per the pilot's need. Naturally, such an advanced and secure plane must be expensive. Till now, only 21 B-2 bombers have been made, and each aircraft was made at a cost of dollar billion, more than the GDPS of several countries. These aircraft are only with America, and so far, America has no intention of selling this technology. Moreover, its fuel consumption is such that in just one hour, it gulps $0.5 million worth of fuel. 
In contrast, a normal commercial jet consumes $0 worth of fuel per hour. The B-2 bomber's maintenance is very different from normal aircraft. After every flight, the entire aircraft is soft-washed and its secret stealth coating is reapplied. Every corner of its body is checked to ensure there is no small hole or dent because even a dent as small as a mosquito could destroy its stealth capability. We hope you'll like and share this video by Discover TV just as much. Thank you so much for your loving comments. See you in the next amazing video.